What's up, Georgia State Panthers? I'm Brianna Golquist. And I'm Jada Coggins. Happy International Women's Day, and welcome to another episode of Primetime Sports. It's a special day for us here in the studio, and for many reasons. We're switching it up a bit and doing things a little bit differently today. That's right, as you can see, this is the first episode ever with two women side-by-side -side anchoring. So let's start things off right by shining a light on a woman right here at Georgia State University who has been making some big noise lately, and for all the right reasons. With today being the International Women's Day and March being the month of athletic training, we thought what a great opportunity it would be to showcase someone that's so important to Georgia State University, Danica Johnson. First and foremost, thank you for granting us an interview. Now, how has you know your journey been and how have you kind of navigated this industry? I've tried to use my um, opportunities to open up doors for other women. That's what I've always thought when I went into it, to be the most professional, to do my job the best of my ability so that young girls that come behind me are able to do this. What does being a woman in sports mean to you? Um, it means that we can do the same as men do. Um, you know, we maybe even do it a little better in some areas, um, but that there, we can be equal. What can you say to, you know, uh, a girl who wants to be in this industry, um, but is getting a lot of backlash, and how did you deal with that? Um, you have to go in it knowing that's what you're gonna get first. So if you already expect that, when you get it, it won't throw you off. Um, but you are confident in yourself, then you'll be able to continue forward. You have to be very confident. It's almost a fine line between being confident and cocky, is why I tell women. What can you say to someone, maybe an uh, incoming freshman, a girl who wants to break into the industry but may not have a clue how to do it? First, you have to make doors that aren't there. And by that, I mean go talk to people. Um, a lot of the opportunities that I I've had and the experiences I've had is because I actually reached out to people when it wasn't there. When I interned with the Charlotte Bobcats back then, I was the first intern that they ever had. I reached out to the athletic trainer and said, this is my goal in life. I want to work with you. I don't want any money. I just want the experience. And then that opened up for me to intern with them the entire year and then the following year with the WNBA. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Danica Johnson. You guys, are to our viewers in Georgia, it may be cold outside, but this woman is on fire. So thank you so much for granting us an opportunity, or an opportunity to chat with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Danica, and all of our fellow sisters in sports for all that you do. Spring is here. Well, kind of unsure about what season it is, but the month is March, and we know what that means. Time to head to the dugout. Right. Our softball team will gear up tonight to take on Coastal Carolina. And reporter Nigel Butler has the latest with our baseball team. Georgia State baseball is, has a big weekend ahead of them, coming off a tough loss to Mercer University this past Tuesday. The Georgia State Panthers put up a good fight, pulling together three runs late in the ninth inning, falling short 14-11 to with the bases loaded, leaving the tying run at the plate. Some of the highlight players from that game were Danos Diaz and Josh Smith. Looking forward, the game tonight will be at 4 o'clock at GSU Baseball Complex as the Panthers look to end their six-game losing streak against East Tennessee State University. Please come out and catch us at 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you want to catch the rest of the series, they will be playing Saturday at the GSU Complex at 2 and Sunday at 1, all at the same location. Signing out, Primetime Sports, Nigel Butler. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Senior night was this past Saturday for Georgia State men's basketball. And after the game, I got a chance to speak with senior Malik Ben Levy to see how he feels about playing his last collegiate game. What's up, you guys? I'm Brianna Dolquist with Primetime Sports, standing here with graduating senior Malik Ben Levy. Malik, first and foremost, I want to say congratulations on four years being with Georgia State in this organization. How are you feeling right now that this is your last collegiate game? Uh, it's bittersweet. I mean, I know I'm going to miss this place a lot. I mean, I enjoyed my four years here, though. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a long, fun ride, but we ain't done yet, though. And, and we're not done yet, you said. Nah, we ain't done yet. All right, you were able to, well, the team was able to take out Little Rock. How do you feel about this win in your last year? Uh, it's, feeling, it's good. I mean, seeing night we won, but we got business to take care of next Saturday. Absolutely. Now, throughout the game, I, I, I heard a, a particular section saying, go Malik, go Malik. I said, who are those people? It turns out your family is here from Texas, from Miami, Florida, from Tampa, Florida. E Literally, every one of your family showed up here today, and we have one message for you guys. One, 
two, three. <laughs> the Panthers look to win the Sun Belt Conference regular season title at Georgia Southern tomorrow. Be sure to tune in to 97.9 FM with Dave, Dave Cohen at 5 p.m. So, Jada, hypothetically speaking, if Georgia State won against Georgia Southern and UT Arlington lost against Texas State, the Panthers would be at the number one seed. So what do they have to do to be, you know, be in the contender to go dancing again? Well, Bree, the Panthers are having trouble with consistency right yeah. now. I think they're going to have to simply get back to the basics. They're a fast team, and records show that the Panthers are undefeated when leading at the half. Wow. They're a talented group with all five starters reaching double digits every single game. And you just don't run across that every day. So something's telling me these guys will have it figured out by the time it's ready to head down to the bayou. Right. On a lighter note, let's take a look at a special roommate's edition by our very own reporter, Hannah Kim. Did that start it? No, I did it for second to sing too. Yeah, it uh, goes like that and the camera turns on. Yeah, this is prime time sports as well. Prime time. I'm Hannah Kim with Prime Time Sports, and I'm here with Jack Hilton Jones and Logan Lizzie. And this is Roommates. <laughs> Are there any weird habits you guys notice of each other? He snores all the time. I don't see that. He says that. He says he does it, but, but he does it every single night. Do you guys like being roommates? No. No. no I can't stand him. Who is more likely to fall asleep in class? Definitely you. Really? 100% you. Do you know what kind of student I am? <laughs> yeah, I bet okay. you. Who is more likely to make a million dollars? Oh, definitely me. Oh, wow. <laughs> definitely me. From Twitch? <laughs> no, We're not from that. Who is more likely to appear on a reality show? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You? Yeah, thank you. Definitely. A reality TV show would be my dream, you know? It'd be your dream? Yeah. Dream. All right, relax <laughs> with the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to dance on the spot? Oh, me. Definitely. No yeah. doubt. Well, no cause, doubt, cause yeah. you guys, the locker room stuff, I got murdered for that. I was like being called the worst dancer, so that obviously dropped my confidence a bit. Just, just trying to follow my hero Dax. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. So <laughs> he's obsessed with a rapper named Dax, and Dax is awful. In 2022, you watch it again when Dax is winning Grammys, he's winning everything, and then, and then you're gonna look the fool. Okay. Do you have any last words for each other? For each other? Gonna, well, you guys are gonna be. Right, we get killed out there or something. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we walk out, we're just dead. We just get knifed. I love you, man. <laughs> Should we do our handshake? No. Oh, Alright, That looks like so much fun. I cannot wait to see the whole thing. I know, right? Oh my good Bree, you know what? I I really can't get over Women's Day uh -huh. and I just how could we forget? the only female SID here at Georgia State. Yes. I mean, this lady wears so many hats. Aside from being the sports interim director, she's also the assistant athletic director for communications. I got a chance to speak with her and ask her what it meant to her to be a woman in sports. Having worked in college athletics for more than 30 years, I have seen tremendous growth in women athletics. I believe strongly in the role that participation in athletics, particularly college athletics, plays in the development of young people. So it's very gratifying to see so many more women have this opportunity. I am honored to work with the outstanding female student athletics at Georgia State University. Now in the spirit of International Women's Day, we'd like to give a special shout out to all the ladies of primetime. Tiffany Blackman of the NFL Network, she mentors and pours into the ladies of primetime sports. Thank you. Kayla Claxton, not only is it her birthday today, but she is the first ever female techni technical director. Jasmine Presley, she is our football basketball analyst, and she's the first woman to be a social media correspondent. Gawan Bay, we could definitely not forget her. She set the tone, and she was the first ever female anchor on primetime. Jada Coggins, my lovely co-host. She's a basketball analyst, strategist, 
and a reporter for primetime. Hey, that's me, Brianna Dahlquist, the first female director of primetime sports ever. Hannah Kim, she's the newbie of the group. We're thankful to have her on our team. She is a soccer strategist. Madison Deadman, she is a technical director and she writes storyboards and scripts for primetime sports. Kelsey Perkins, how could we forget the award-winning journalist? Not only is she an award-winning journalist, but she is a social media correspondent and she is a basketball strategist. Thank you for joining us. That will conclude this week's episode. Make sure you check out our new social media segment, Primetime Daily, on Twitter and Instagram, at GSU Primetime. We'll see you next Friday. Have a great weekend.